This is Easy Film Burn. You can use it to create film burn transitions like that with a lot more manual control, but you can also use it to create B-roll sequences like this. It's pretty cringy, but I don't have any B-roll. Let's jump in. I'll show you how to use it. Okay, once you download the DRFX file, you should see it easy film burn right here in your effects panel. You can just click right here on effects to open your effects panel if you don't see it. And as you can see, we've got this uh, nice B-roll, quote unquote B-roll loaded up here. Um, so I'm going to show you how we can do some film burn transitions. And the even more exciting thing is creating a full on B-roll scene with this plugin. Um, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is. And it's really fun, actually. So let's grab an adjustment clip and we can make this a lot smaller. Let's make this about eight frames long for a transition. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we can just drag and drop easy film burn onto our adjustment clip. And now you're gonna see all the controls are opened up here on the right side. If you don't see this, make sure that your inspector panel is open and you have effects selected. Now, if we wanna use this as just a film burn transition, we can uncheck footage shake and we can decide which elements we wanna include in it. So I'm just gonna turn everything down for a moment. And you can see with all this stuff turned down, we just get a nice film burn. All right, so let's run through these controls so you can get a sense for what this plugin can do. So right off the bat, we have the film burn amount. So that is our actual film burn. Let's turn that back up. Overdrive just gives it a little bit more juice. A little bit crazy. Um, one thing that you can do as well is also type in a value into this film burn. So you can actually go to 1.5 or 2. And then film burn position, this can be really handy because let's say our transition point is right here. We want to have the brightest moment in our film burn to be right at that transition to sort of cover that cut. So what we can do with this film burn position slider is just move this over to actually change the brightest part of that film burn. And now we have this brightest point covering our cut. Okay, now we have a lot of settings that we can customize to get a very unique look. Some of these are only going to really work once we have the footage shake enabled. So let's move on to build out a B-roll scene with all these clips so I can start showing you how all these settings work. Okay, let's grab a new adjustment clip and we're gonna set this one over these two clips. We'll grab Easy Film Burn and just like that, it's already looking really cool. So let's turn these down so I can show you how each of them works. And let's even turn down the film burn amount so we can even see better what these are doing. Okay, this flash slider is gonna add a flash effect to certain frames in this sequence. Vignette is gonna add vignetting, again, just to certain frames when you have this footage shake enabled. Blur is gonna add intermittent blurring to certain frames. Damage, this adds a film damage overlay. Film grain, this adds a 35 mil film grain overlay. Actually, it looks really nice. And then this is the frame repeat. So as we turn it up, you can see it's holding on frames. Whereas if we turn it all the way down, it doesn't hold on a frame at all. And so that could look a little bit jarring. I think the sweet spot is between four and then perhaps even turning it up. All right, this next setting is the focal point. And this is really handy for when you're making your B-roll sequences. You wanna make sure that your fusion overlay is turned on. And then we're gonna be looking for this little green X on the screen. And now think of this as a focal point. So if we wanna highlight, let's say the bass guitar for this part, we can drag this over to the bass guitar. And now, as you can see, it's going to highlight our focal area a lot more. All right, let's reset the plugin. And I'm going to show you how I just build out this scene very quickly. I'm going to hold down Alt and click and drag this adjustment clip over to duplicate it. Set this to the length of the clip below it. Let's click on effects. Let's turn off footage shake and maybe just turn the frame repeat up a little bit. Again, holding Alt, let's click and drag this adjustment clip over. Let's extend this one out a little bit. I'm gonna turn down the film burn amount so I can see where my focal point is. I'm gonna grab that and just drag it down to the bass guitar here. Let's turn the film burn amount back up and turn on the footage shake. Holding Alt will duplicate this adjustment clip one last time. Set the duration. Let's zero out our focal point by double clicking. And let's play that back. Very cool. I think the flashing is a little bit much. Now let's go through and just make some adjustments here. So let's turn on the flashing on this one and the vignetting and the blur. A little bit less damage. I like the film grain. We'll keep that high though. Again, we'll turn some of these down a little bit. Let's keep the damage high for this one. But maybe we could turn down the film burn a little bit. That looks great. Let's keep the flash and vignette high. We'll turn down the blur and the damage. We'll turn that right down for this one.
And let's just turn down the film burn a little bit on this one. Okay, let's reset the frame repeat on these last two. Back to four, I think that looks better. Let's just render that in place so we can see how it looks. I'm gonna make a compound clip and then right click and select render in place. And that's pretty much it. I can't wait to hear your feedback. Don't forget to pick up all the free plugins in the shop. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.